talk about Fedora's <laughs> Right. So let's talk about Fedora's which is your new album. Um, so can you tell us a little bit more about uh, what the album means for you and when inspiration for the album? Inspiration for the album was like our like own evolution into how we perceive life and how we relate with it. Everybody has a vision as well as like how we deal with things in life, we were changing every time. The only way we could express it and give it to you is through music. So that's what the main inspiration was for us. And as far as the concept is concerned, like we've always been fans of uh, bands that make concept albums, you know, because it's so difficult to write songs you know, with a theme in mind to have like this connecting link and you know with 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 albums that uh, bands like Tool put out uh, there's so much you discover over time you know so we wanted our fans to kind of like feel proud to own the physical so that's why we work so hard on the packaging and the concept. I really like the t-shirt by the way. That's the first that's, that's cover. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. No it just now happens no no but it happens to look like there's a lot of you know, with Koshi, there's a lot of stuff that happens by chance, you know, because so we just like let things be and we know that, you know, it just happens. Since you mentioned Koshi, what is up with the cookie spelling? <laughs> cookie spelling is okay. We actually have a logo, uh, which we don't No, 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 the spelling in the sense, why is there no K? It's because K is, is for Ekta Kutu. <laughs> you know, my name's Kutu. Yeah, you know, she might, she might actually sue you for that. Alright, so yeah. And, uh, yeah, calling some yeah, canning up, bro. Can, can, yeah. can. Oh my god, no. <laughs> no thanks, I get a lot of cans, jokes, there. There's nothing special, man. We just like thought of like, like, maybe we can have a way. Uh, I thought that it would be better for us to keep a unique name so that you can search us. Search us. Google. 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 Which is your favorite song on the album and like, why? Oh, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like Firdos. That's my favorite track. Like, that was also the last track we composed and I wrote lyrics for. So, lyrically as well as musically, the whole band was very next to us at that time. Yeah, it was like the song that we pushed ourselves like really, really hard to write. We were actually because challenging ourselves at the end of the day. I and mean, Mongesh was coming up with something. Actually, because oh. yeah, like the intro he came up with like in 2008 so or something. Like what happened was this song. I think yeah, like I had had like, four years we had, we had different patterns of the song, and then we're like something is not right. But then you know we, we even recorded it, but nothing was right. Like so it started guess, with yeah. like a flamenco lesson I was checking out on YouTube. It's like a style of guitar playing, and I was like, wow, that's so awesome. So I just made something which is like a very basic flamenco exercise, and then I said, okay, let's like, just record. And then I just one day came to the jam and I'm like, hey, how do you think this is? But it came out really badly, badly. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, the first rendition was almost like Linkin Park. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. No. But nobody listens to it. So we scrapped that. Oh, I disagree, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, but they're different. <laughs> so, what could you say are your influences for this particular album? What is influence? Oh, okay. it's very obvious. You can buy the album, listen to it nicely. You know what I mean. Spell it out for us. Don't mention it. Okay. So you have to find out. Actually, find out. Okay. And as the band, how did you guys come together? How did how did Koshish happen? Koshish happened like we still met at a friend's place, and then oh, at the audition. Yeah, actually. What happened? I'll I'll narrate this. Let's arrange ourselves like how we met. That's even more. Yeah. So. We had like three, I had a couple of songs, very simple, short songs, basically a song. And uh, we went, both of us were basically auditioning for some band, okay? And a metal band. Like, okay. Exactly. Band. <laughs> and I just badly wanted to play and it didn't really go well and we both were like, okay, like, the circus is just yeah, true. Over. So let's, so while we're going, while we're going back, I just told him, hey, you know what, I have some couple of songs. It's not like, I don't think it's up to your alley, it's like, and stuff. So, like, do it. So, like, yeah, man, let's go. And where we live is like 
two different ends of the city. Like Bombay is freaking oh, okay, huge. Yeah. So basically, he lives in Whitefield where this place is, and I live in say Brigade Road. Oh, okay. Wow. That far. Right. And he used to commute that distance, and we started off, and then we like went to shitloads of uh, lineup changes, and then we got Hamza Tazi. And then quite a funny story actually. That drummer backed out, and Shrikant called me and was like, uh, "Can you play?" And the funny thing is that in like the college circuit level, you know, all these gigs keep getting canned. So I think we rehearsed like for a day for a gig, and we land up at the gig, and the gig gets canned. That happened for like I think two gigs. It was like Sardar Patel. Yeah, this was like this was ages ago. And then he came and like. I met him at Belapu Station, and then I'm like, <laughs> like, like I knew him. Like uh, they grew up in the same colony, other, actually. Oh, they grew up in BRC. And then I met him one day, and I'm like, uh, BRC. So yeah, so I just asked him like, would you mind if I play? What? Yeah, he was all pricey like in the. Seriously, I was thinking of the first man or something like that. So covering man, Bollywood. Not very happy with his offer. But then he told me just check our songs on YouTube, and we are playing them some game. Okay. Okay. okay, fine. I'll check the songs and I'll play. Yeah, this is fun. I'll just play with the game. <laughs> then there was something that clicked between all of us. Yeah, I feel That's like there's someone. Yeah, I think there's a way to connect, especially when you guys are headbanging. I could not help but notice that there were points when you guys were. Perfectly synchronized. I don't know how you did it. <laughs> I didn't even realize. It's just, it's just the power of the trip. It's just, it's just the power of the trip. But it's really awesome. Um, about that. How is it that you're the only one whose hair is not like that? Well, he has a girlfriend, you know. Uh, my dad's boy. So, uh, you know, it runs in the family. So I had a phase where my hair was like this long. But then it started falling, so then I didn't want to risk it. So I just started. I was like, I've had like phases. I was like bald for quite a while. Oh, yeah. okay, now, and here, now I know that you really are. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, but he was now I'm not a fan of food. He actually had to sketch on his head. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if you check my Facebook app, you can see like <laughs> so I'm bald and head. Yeah. Oh, I thought your hair cut. Oh, no, no, no suspect. <laughs> I thought he cut his hair like that. Look, look, look. I don't know. Hey, wait. Sorry, the thing. Yeah, so good luck with your next album. Uh, oh, good luck. Next album will be like... Yeah, I'm going to make it a point that none of my fans see this video. Or I'll make it a point that all of them will send anyone what you call it. Okay, can I go with a cake? Thank you. Thank you so much. 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 Th